Hi folks, uh, this is the second time I'm lecturing and uh, on video, so uh, bear with me. We're still going to keep trying out this uh, new medium for, for me. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to get better at being a photographer. I, I pull the class uh, frequently at the beginning of class and I say well what is it that brought you to taking a photography class and uh, more times than not I'll get a very simple answer and that answer is I want to take better pictures or I want my pictures to become more uh, professional looking and less like a snapshot and um, that's a perfectly good reason. Some people want to become uh, specialty photographers. Some people want to aim at exactly a certain niche in photography. But other people are just trying to take better pictures. And uh, that's a great reason for signing up to take the class. So over the years, um, I've decided that Probably the best way to get started in this learning process is to start where people have a comfort zone. And uh, since the advent of the phone camera, uh, <clears throat> we've seen tremendous technical uh, advances in the power of that little tiny camera that's embedded in our portable uh, portable phones or mobile phones and uh, that's probably where most pictures are being taken these days um, if you've gone to any sort of a touristy place you're going to find hundreds and hundreds of people using their phones to record what they're experiencing and there will be a few people with DSLRs there but uh, for the most part, it's phones. So there is a term. It's called phonography. And uh, part of what we're going to do in this class is to start with the phone. Uh, don't worry, we're going to get to the DSLR very quickly. But we're going to get started with the phone for uh, one very good reason. Um, I have certain sayings that I try and drill into all of my students. Uh, they're quotations from famous people or their folk wisdom about photography. And I got one here. <clears throat> and this is just kind of uh, blanked out. To get a great uh, blank, uh, get lots of blanks and I'm going to reveal one of them it is to get a great idea get lots of ideas uh, one thing that we're going to be studying in this class is how to become more creative and how to develop a a unique style or how to take photographs that have a certain amount of freshness to them and uh, have more validity than just uh, going over the same territory over and over. So the stem of this saying to get a great blank get lots of blanks uh, we can also do this one and we can say to get a great photo, we want to get lots of photos. And lugging a DSLR around with you so that you can get lots of photos, uh, nobody wants to do it. Uh, if I'm going out on a photo shoot, I usually pack my bike on the back of my car <clears throat> and I will drive around for a while 
find an interesting locale, uh, park the car, I'll get on the bike and I'll have my DSLR slung around my shoulders, riding around looking for pictures, taking pictures. But I'm guessing during a week uh, I'll probably only be doing that maybe a few hours in a week. The other thing is uh, in my shirt pocket as I'm working, uh, as I'm doing my daily sort of uh, chores around the house, uh, traveling little bits here and there, running errands, uh, I always keep my eye out for something that's unique, uh, something that's a little different. And uh, with my background in art, I try and look for things that might be uh, abstract in nature. And I find it very, very uh, convenient to have a phone camera. And I will use that phone camera sometimes as a sketching device, like an artist would carry a sketchbook and they would find a subject and make a quick little sketch of it. And then they would go back to their studio and they would develop that uh, into more of a finished piece of artwork. But uh, I have found that as the sophistication of the uh, technology and the phone camera comes uh, better and better, I've found that sometimes that will be, uh, I won't even use it for a sketchbook. I will put it up on Flickr. I will print these things uh, up to 11 by 14 inches, which is a pretty good uh, art show size picture and I have enough pixels to do that. So we're not going to uh, look down our nose at our phone cameras and I'm hoping that everybody here has either an Android or an iPhone or Samsung, some sort of a, a iPhone that you can put into service here. And we're going to have a running assignment for the whole class. It's four weeks long. And what I would like you to do is aim to carry your cell phone with you, which probably you're doing already. Uh, but what I want you to do is start to act a little bit more like an artist. And uh, so instead of uh, uh, just being a functioning human being, <laughs> which is important, I also want you to add a layer on top of that and I call that uh, the art photographer layer. So uh, as you're doing your daily things, I'd like you to keep an eye out for interesting lighting, interesting subjects. Uh, we don't necessarily have to take a picture of the Grand Canyon to get a beautiful picture. Uh, sometimes your pictures will be in your house, uh, around your house, uh, as you're driving around, uh, please do not take pictures as you're driving. No, no, that's a big no, no. I want you to pull over to the side of the road safely. Uh, come back if you need to. If you see something pretty cool uh, in the neighborhood, uh, go ahead and, and take your phone out and take pictures. So, if we're going back to our saying here, uh, to get a great photo, uh, get lots of photos, uh, how, how am I going to define that? Well, I would say 10 photos a day, uh, kind of minimally. These do not have to be Pulitzer Prize winning photographs. Uh, just important for you to start with this. Now I'm going to write up a little extra assignment here. I'm going to tie it to chapter 9 in our textbook and I'll put the few pages, we're not going to do the whole chapter, but I'll put a few pages that I'd like you to read and I'd like you to practice. So um, 
you can get started taking photographs right away with your phone camera and um, kind of tune into the announcements and tune into the canvas assignment and I'll try and spell it out with a little more detail for you and like I say uh, this is our starting point this is where everybody is kind of in photography we kind of know that uh, and we will be getting into the DSLR uh, shortly so happy photography see ya bye bye